In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the weather API. Once you follow all the steps in this tutorial, this is what the final result will look like using Postman, which is a free API client that you can download so that you can easily follow along. Once you have everything set up, we will send an API call to the weather API by hitting send. And when you look down here, this is the results that we get back from the weather API. In this specific example, we're getting back the current weather for New York, and we're getting back all the relevant weather information, such as like the current temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius, and all this other information that you see here. And just before we start, I will have a link in in the description and in the comments where you can download the exact Postman collection that I'm using in this tutorial completely for free so that you don't have to manually recreate these API calls yourself. With that being said, the first step of this tutorial is to go to this URL here, which is weatherapi.com. Once you're on this page, just click sign up to sign up for an account, fill out all the form fields. Once you've everything filled out, just click sign up. You will now see this screen asking you to verify your email. So you should have received the email that looks exactly like this and just click on the link. Once you successfully verified your account, just click on the login page to log into your account, hit login. And now you should see this page with your API key being up here. So just go ahead and copy it as we would need it for later. Then we can go to the weather API documentation at this URL to read more about how the weather API works. Now I'll show you how to make your first weather API call. The first API call we will be making is the real time API call. So if we click on here, we can read more information about it. Reading the description, it lets us know that we'll be getting back the current weather at the time that we're making the API call. So to make this API call, just click on request here on the side. This will show us more information about how to make the exact API call to the different APIs that they offer. So if we want to make the current weather URL, we just need to use the base URL and the URL that you see here for either the JSON format or the XML format. In this tutorial, I'll be using the JSON format. Switching to Postman, I just created a new request by clicking the plus icon here, making sure it's a GET request. And in the input box, I just pasted in the base URL that you see here, followed by the URL here to tell the API that we want JSON format. Then I just added my API key by just adding a new query parameter. And here I just added key, and then the value is gonna be the API key that we copied earlier. And the next query parameter is just Q, which is just the city that we're searching for. So in this case, that's in New York. Once you completed all those steps, you can now just hit send. And now we'll see a response back from the weather API service, showing us all of the current weather information for New York. If we go back to documentation and we look at the request parameters down here, we can see that the only two required fields are the API key and then the query parameter of Q, which is just like the city that we're looking for. If we scroll down a little bit more, we can see all of the query parameters that we can pass in. For example, we could pass in an additional query parameter of hour to restrict the forecast to a specific hour in a given day. Just before I show you the next API call, if you have found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to help support my channel. The next API call I want to show you is the forecast API. Looking at the description, we can see that this is going to return up to the next 14 days of weather data compared to the previous API call that we just made, which was only like the current weather at the time. Just like before, to actually make this API call, we can just go back to the request section and look at the API call that says forecast. And we can repeat the exact same steps as before where we just get the base URL and we just append this highlighted text here. And so we'll go back to Postman. I already have this API call set up, but you can see I just have the base URL and I did forecast.json added my API key and just added the query parameter of Q and just put Jacksonville in this case. And I just hit send. Looking at the result, we can see the current weather data, but we can also see the forecasted weather data as well. If we look more closely at the results, we can see there's gonna be a key with the name of like hour. And here we can see that for each hour, we get back specific weather information. The next API call I want to show you is the history API weather call. This specific API call allows us to see the history for a specific location. So to make this call, we just go back to request and just do the exact same steps as before. But now we just need to change like the ending of the URL to history.json. Going back to Postman, I've already created my API call here, but I just have the base URL followed by history.json and it added my API key. And then for the Q parameter, I just put New York. And then I just added an additional query parameter of DT. And for the value, this is going to be the exact date that we're looking for the historical weather data. So in this case, I just put like March 5th, 2023. Once you complete all these steps, just hit send. Looking at the result, we can see that this weather data is specifically for March 5th of 2023. And we can see all of the historical weather data that they have for this exact day. The last API call I want to show you is the search slash autocomplete API. And this specific API will return location data for a specific city that you type in. Going back to Postman, I already have it set up. The only difference is we just have to just change this last part to search.json and then just add your API key. And for the Q query parameter, I just typed in Jacksonville in this case, and I'll just hit send. Look at the result, we can get back all the different location data for the different Jacksonvilles that exist like in the United States. And that's the end of this weather API tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.